the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Welcome to Chapel in the Heights. Wherever this finds you, I hope that you are also found by the peace of Christ. My name is Trigvi Johnson, one of the chaplains here at Hope College. And as we are in an extended, unprecedented time, we want to welcome you back to Hope College. Our theme that we're doing in chapel right now is keeping hope. In an unprecedented time of anxiety and uncertainty, where we don't know what's going to happen or how long this is going to last, we are a people of hope. I don't know if there's a better name for a college than hope. It's not the name of a direction, north or south or east or west. It's the name of one of the core virtues of what it means to be a child of God. Hope arises out of dissonance. You only hope for something when there's a problem, when there's a time of uncertainty or anxiety. And in this kind of moment, I don't know if there has ever been a better time for us to be a people of hope. But our hope is connected not just merely to a feeling, but to the very word of God that guides us along the way. And so while we're in chapel, we're going to be offering texts of hope. I've asked all of our chaplains, including myself, to come and offer a text for you that we can share that means something personal to us. And this morning, I want to share one of my favorite scriptures that helps me to keep hope. It's from Psalm 27, verses 13 and 14. This is what the word of the God says. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. This is one of my favorite scriptures in all of the Bible. I always like to encourage um, people who I meet with and counsel over a period of time to have what I call a credo, a kind of code, a kind of guiding text that orients their life. And this is mine. Psalm 27, verse 13 and 14 is what I would call my credo. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I believe. It's, it's an article of faith. I can't prove it in a microscope or a telescope, but it's deep into my soul. A belief that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. It's not something that I have to wait to when I die and go by and by. It's right now, in this world, in this life. I need to have the eyes to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's my hope. There's a lot of bad theology out there that suggests to us that our hope is for an afterlife. And when we adopt and make that pivot as a Christian people, we actually abdicate our responsibility and our calling to this world. It's when the people of hope show up in the name of God and act with justice and righteousness and beauty and truth and goodness that we begin to create the context where goodness can be seen not only by ourselves, but by others. We want to be a people where we see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. This verse became part of me a long time ago when I was in seminary and over the summer I did a uh, rotation of what's called CPE, clinical pastoral education. I lived in a deserted convent for about three and a half months. I was by myself. I didn't know anyone. I was nursing a broken relationship. I was doing rotations in ICU unit, um, PEDS, cancer units, and every single day I was confronted by uh, hurt and by suffering and by disease. And I was reading my Bible, and I came across Psalm 27. And I came across that verse. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What's interesting about the verse is that it comes at the very end of the psalm, and everything preceding it is about an individual facing a difficult time. The psalm begins, The Lord is my light and my salvation, of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foes, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. And it goes on from there. Throughout the psalm, this is an individual facing danger and violence and betrayal 
and hurt. And yet at the very end, at the very end, he's able to say, yet I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And that's my prayer for you. And that's my prayer for me. This is an unprecedented time. We don't know what's going to happen. And it can feel like this virus is like an army encamping in on us. It can feel like we're being pulled away from our loved ones. There's a lot of uncertainty and anxiety in the air. And yet, and yet, the psalmist can claim, and let us claim with the psalmist, that we believe we shall see, experience, taste, and know, and feel the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And so today, let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. The Lord is near. Let your heart take courage. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in peace and keep hope. Amen.